Today, we're going to use the slow cooker to turn a relatively cheap cut of meat into a decadent and delicious beef stroganoff. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. This slow cooker beef stroganoff is great if you're cooking for a crowd or if you're making ahead. The slow cooker does most of the work for you and you can use a relatively inexpensive cut of meat and still get bags of flavour. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by coating the beef. I've got one and a half kilos, which is about 3.3 pounds of braising or casserole beef here, chopped into bite-sized chunks. And to that I'm going to add four tablespoons of plain all-purpose flour and a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Now give that beef a good mix to coat it thoroughly in the flour. Next we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of oil to a large frying pan and heat over a medium to high heat. Add half the beef and cook for about six to eight minutes, turning regularly until browned all over. Once it's browned, remove it from the pan with a slotted spoon and place in the slow cooker. And then repeat with the remaining beef. We're starting the frying process in the frying pan and then transfer into the slow cooker. But if your slow cooker's got a searing function, then you can do the initial steps straight in the slow cooker. Once the meat is sealed and transferred to the slow cooker, Turn the heat of the pan down to medium and add a large diced onion. Cook for three to four minutes, stirring regularly until the onion starts to soften. Now stir in four cloves of minced garlic and cook for a further minute. And now we add in a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, 600 ml, which is about two and a half cups of beef stock, and 300 grams, which is about 10 and a half ounces of thickly sliced chestnut mushrooms. Stir everything together, making sure to scrape up any bits that might have stuck to the bottom of the pan. I know this may seem like a lot of mushrooms, but they will cook down, so don't be afraid to add plenty. Bring to the boil, stir again, then transfer to the slow cooker. Now we're going to place the lid on and cook it on high for five to six hours or low for seven to eight hours. After seven to eight hours on low, the beef should be nice and tender and the flavours melded together. Now we're going to thicken that sauce slightly by mixing in a corn flour slurry. So this is one tablespoon of corn flour mixed with three tablespoons of cold water and just stir that right in. Now we want to give the sauce that signature stroganoff creaminess. So first off, we're going to mix together 120 ml, which is about half a cup of double or heavy cream, along with 240 ml, which is about a cup of sour cream. We're mixing them together before adding to the slow cooker to help stabilise the sour cream so it doesn't split when we add it in. Stir that cream into the beef and sauce, being careful not to break apart the beef as it will be quite delicate. Serve with pasta, topped with a sprinkling of freshly chopped parsley and some black pepper. Whilst this might not be a traditional stroganoff, it is super tasty with those iconic flavours and that fall apart beef is just divine. Now if you want to make this ahead and freeze, I'll leave some instructions for you in the description below. And if you want to make the regular version of steak stroganoff, then check it out here. See you next time.